I can't wait to show you my toys. Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing you another action figure review. Today we're with the McFarlane Toys Fortnite shopping cart pack. This set here comes with two figures, two guns, two stands, and a shopping cart. The figures included are War Paint and Fireworks Team Leader. War Paint is looks kind of like a Jonesy in different colors with some War Paint on his face. And then Fireworks Team Leader looks just like Cuddle Team Leader, except she's patriotic. Looks like these guys do not come with a pickaxe or a back bling, which is a little bit disappointing. But if I were to pick between the three, I'd probably pick the gun anyway. I wish I'd get rid of those expendable stands. I could really prefer a back bling over that. But anyway, let's go ahead and check out the packaging here. As you can see, Fortnite, shopping cart pack, ages 12 plus, little barcode thing here. See the top, Epic Games. And then we got the figures in there. Red, white, and blue, Cuddle Team Leader. See the actual cart. Looks like we've got an assault rifle, a scar, and a shotgun. And then we've got war paint here. So the top, you can see the two guys. Fortnite, shopping cart. There's the McFarland Toys Spawn logo. One side, really nothing here. Other side, see the two guys, the cart. On the bottom, we've got a bunch of credits. There's also a barcode in case anybody needs it. And then on the back, you can see here the two guys, a duo in a shopping cart. We've got a whole bunch of the other McFarland figures. We've got the other vehicle, the Quad Crasher, and we've got a glider. So with no further ado, let's open these guys up. I will say I got mine from Amazon.com, $39.99, two figures and a shopping cart and a couple guns. Really good value, considering one of the figures retails for $24.99. All right, now that we got these guys out of the package, here they are with all their accessories laid out. And they don't come with the standard McFarland accessories. Normally you get a harvesting tool, a back bling, a gun, and a stand. These guys here don't have the harvesting tool or the back bling, which is a little bit disappointing. They do come with a shopping cart, which is really, really cool. And the price for these guys is really very fair. 40 bucks, that's 20 bucks a figure, less than the normal figure cost, plus you get the shopping cart. Sure, they skipped out a couple accessories, but honestly, it's a great value for your buck. Now, me personally, I would have preferred them to get rid of the stand and give us maybe a pickaxe or back bling. But you know what? It's all good. I'm very happy to have this set. This is pure reuse, at least with the two figures. Maybe Warpaint has a different head. We'll look at that in great detail later. But before we look at their accessories, let's check out the figures. So this is Fireworks Team Leader, pretty much a complete repaint of Cuddle Team Leader, done in patriotic colors. I'm assuming this is a skin available for the 4th of July. She has that same sort of crazy looking head, a little cut down the side there, red, white, blue. We got the stripes, not really any stars. Overall, pretty cool. I can see some fun uses for this figure. And then war paint over here. He's got a bandana, he's got some face paint. I imagine it's mostly the Jonesy body here. Got some nice gray camo. I mean, looking pretty decent here. And then of course the highlight of this pack is the shopping cart. This thing here, pretty basic, it's pretty lightweight. It's metal, it does have functioning wheels. It has a baby seat, which can go in and out. Beyond that, really not much going on with this thing. Doesn't feel super great, sturdy. It feels a little bit cheap and almost a little flimsy. The handle here, be careful when you're putting their hands on it. Do stretch your hands out. I can see this thing breaking. It seems like it's already kind of bendable. But overall, pretty cool. We've had this thing vaulted for about a year now. They're finally releasing an action figure set for it. Mildly interesting. The Quad Crasher, when it was released, it was already taken out of the game as well. We had this airplane teased a long time ago, which I don't think they're ever actually gonna release. Other vehicles they've made, we have the gliders, and there are more of those coming. We still could possibly get maybe a hoverboard or a boat. Who knows? So first, to check out these guys' accessories, let's go and look at the stand real quick. It's a complete circle. It's got two pegs on it. It's got the Fortnite logo at the bottom. 
hollow plastic. Me, I really don't like stands very much, so these two are gonna go into a bin of stands, never to be seen again. So next, let's check out their weapons. The top one here is a tactical shotgun, one of the most common guns in the game. I believe this one was intended to be going with war paint. And the one below that is an assault rifle, specifically a legendary or epic assault rifle, nicknamed a Scar. It looks like this one here has a special skin or wrap around it, being the red version. Kind of cool, gives a little variation on the assault rifle here. So here's Warpaint shotgun in the background with Jonesy's shotgun in the forefront. They're painted pretty much exactly the same, except it appears that Warpaint's has more of a glossy and Jonesy has kind of a flatter paint here. And then here is his shotgun next to the Jazzwares version of the tactical shotgun, almost exactly the same size. And then here is his shotgun next to all the different shotguns that McFarlane has made so far. We have four different types. Between all the kinds they've released, it shocks the hell out of me. They still haven't released a pump shotgun for any of these figures. And then next we've got Fireworks Team Leader's Assault Rifle. Like I said before, this is a red wrap around it and looking pretty cool. And then here is the Fireworks Team Leader's Assault Rifle next to the original Cuddle Team Leader's Assault Rifle. As you can see, exact same sculpt, just different paint job. And then here it is next to a Jazzwares Assault Rifle or SCAR, almost exactly the same size. And then if you've been collecting all the figures like me, you'd have quite a few assault rifles by now. Nice to have some extras. And so far they have released four different types of assault rifles. On the top left here we've got the burst assault rifle. Bottom left, the regular assault rifle, legendary version known as the SCAR. On the top right we've got the suppressed assault rifle. In the bottom right, the regular assault rifle. Now there are more kinds of assault rifles they could potentially make in the future. They have released an infantry rifle, but I consider that to be a different kind of weapon. And then here are all the different weapons McFarlane has released from the Fortnite universe so far, and plenty more on the horizon, and plenty more to choose from. And then here are all the different weapons that have been released between McFarlane and Jazzwares both, not including all the doubles that both companies have made. And then here are several different McFarlane figures holding each other's guns, showing they are interchangeable between all the figures. And then here are some of the McFarlane figures holding Jazzwares weapons, and some of the Jazzwares figures holding McFarlane weapons, showing you that they are interchangeable between both brands. So next let's grab the shopping cart. Here's how it scales up with some McFarlane figures. I took some measurements of the shopping cart. It's about 3 inches wide, 5 inches deep, and about 4 inches tall at the highest points of each one of those. And here's how it would scale up next to some Jazzwares figures. In my opinion, this thing works great for either line. Here it is next to a couple of other shopping carts I have in my collection. These ones are a little bit larger than this, and I've been using these for my Fortnite figures for quite some time. Happy to have something a little bit scaled better and officially licensed for Fortnite figures. As you can see, here's some more size differences between the two. And then here it is next to all the different vehicle type of items that McFarlane has released. On the left we've got the Quad Crasher, then of course the shopping cart in the middle, and on the right we've got the launch pad and glider combo. We do know that we're going to be getting additional gliders. At one point, there was a leaked picture of an airplane, but I think that has been scrapped as there have been no further news on that. Hoping we continue to get vehicles. Probably all depends on how well these sell. And then here's Warpaint pushing Fireworks Team Leader in the shopping cart. And then here is the Fireworks Team Leader pushing Warpaint in the shopping cart. Now the shopping cart is going to work for any of the McFarlane or Jazzwares figures. And then here's a couple of Jazzwares figures pushing the shopping cart. Like I said before, I think it works fine with either brand. 
Next, let's check them out compared with some other accessories that you can use to enhance your Fortnite figures. Here they are next to the McFarlane glider and launch pad combo sets. As you can see, so far they're scaling up nicely with this thing. As you can see, here are these two. Get ready to use our launch pads, get up in the sky, and glide around. And then, yes, they do work good with the McFarlane gliders, as expected. As you can see, they can both hold on to it, both glide, both kind of position backward, looking pretty good. What's a Fortnite figure without his glider? And then here they are. We've got Warpaint driving the Quad Crasher and Fireworks Team Leader on the back. She fits on there great. The pegs fit into their peg holes on her feet, no problem. And then here's the Quad Crasher with Fireworks Team Leader driving. War paint on the back, the pegs fit in his peg holes no problem. Had a little issue getting Fireworks Team Leader into the seat. One of her legs kept popping out of the joint when pushing it upward. Didn't break and go right back in there. But she doesn't fit in there quite as well as he does. And then here they are, healing up with a campfire. They're watching each other's backs. Although honestly, they should have just walled up. More than likely, they're going to get sniped while healing. This campfire here I got from a NECA Friday the 13th Jason action figure and I realized it was absolutely perfect for these Fortnite figures. Here they are next to a chest. This is actually from the Jazzwares line and is intended for the 4 inch figures, the smaller sized ones. Now this chest is even oversized compared with the 7 inch figures. But the chest is such a huge part of the game I'm happy to have one that is at least fudgeable with these guys. And then here they are with a little stuffed animal llama that I got at Walmart at one point. Now this thing is obviously not by McFarlane as it's not plastic, it's just a stuffed animal. But llamas are really cool, a staple of the game. And even though this one is quite oversized scale-wise compared to how it is in the game, it's still cool to have one. And then here are some accessories that came with various Jazzwares figures that will be great to enhance your McFarlane collection. We've got a bunch of heels and shields. Some explosive weapons, and we've got a balloon, we've got a rift to go, and hop rocks, some consumable stuff. All scaled up great for McFarlane as well. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at their accessories, as well as some other accessories you can use for these guys, next let's check out the height of these guys. So war paint here from bottom to top is sitting at about six and three quarter inches. Fireworks team leader from bottom to top is sitting at about seven and a quarter inches. And like I said before in the shopping cart, the highest point is sitting at about, looks like four and a half inches to the handles, about four inches to the basket. As far as how deep it gets, about five inches. And as how wide it is, about three inches. Next, let's check out their articulation. I know we went over it before, but let's check out the shopping cart real quick. The little child seat can go in and out. This little flap down here and go up and down a little bit. The wheels move, and that is literally about it. Now let's check out Warpaint's articulation. Of course, his head, you can go around from side to side. You can look up, really not much, down just a little bit. His shoulders are on a ball joint. But not only that, there's this area here between the sort of shoulder and chest area, so it has sort of articulation at the base here as well as inside of there. See, so it goes well more than 90 degrees up there. It's got a bicep cut below that. It's got double jointed elbows go all the way inside. His wrist, of course, it can swivel and it's hinged as well. It's got ab articulation here, ball joint inside of there. Not only can go around, but it can go forward and back. Then he has another ball joint down here and go around a little bit less, but he can also go in and out. So you take his head and his both his ball joints, he can look down about that far and up about that far. His legs, they go out about that far. You can see there's a joint inside with articulation at the base here and a little bit more articulation at the bottom and the top. Then you go forward about that far, back really not very much at all. Double joint knees and go back about that far. His ankles, of course, they can go up and down. Then go from side to side. He does have toe articulation. And there's a ball inside of here. 
that if you rotate it a certain way instead of going forward and back they'll be able to tilt from side to side in the back kind of a pain to execute they work okay but a little bit difficult to get to execute properly so next fireworks team leader here of course her head it can go from side to side it can look down quite a bit up quite a bit it appears she's got articulation at the base of the head and also a separate at the base of the neck there Shoulders go up about that far, well over 90 degrees. She's got a ball joint up here, and there's separate articulation between the chest and this other area of plastic here. So she's kind of got double articulation there. I believe they're called butterfly joints. She's got a bicep cut below that, double jointed elbows below that, and then go all the way inside. Her wrist, of course, you can swivel around, and then it's hinged as well. She does have a ball joint up here. Mine's very tight. You can barely move around at all. You can look up and down just a tiny bit. Same ball joint down here. Once again, mine's very, very tight. As you can see between the two, she can go up and down a pretty good amount. Her legs, I'm having trouble with this one. Loves to pop out and go out about that far. You can see the type of articulation here. They've got articulation at the base, the very top, and then as well at the bottom here. Then go forward about that far back really not at all double joint knees go that far back she got the same sort of ball inside of here it's got a little bit of articulation at the top part and the bottom part so it allows it to go up and down if you were to take that ball twist it to the side twist the foot back it's really hard to do you can get it to sort of tilt up like that she does have toe articulation as well and yes they can rotate around Next, let's look at reuse. I will say that Skull Trooper and Jonesy are 100% the same, except for the head. And I'm guessing we're going to find the same with these guys. So feet, definitely the same. Legs, exactly the same. You can see the same patch on here. Belt is the same. They've got the same little sash across here. Of course, his is just painted sort of camo to blend in. Same bandana. Same hands, same wrist computer. Same little scarf here. I mean, yes, their paint job's different, but the body is 100% the same on all three of these figures, except for the head. And then I'm sure it's no surprise to anybody, but these figures here are 100% the same sculpt, complete reuse. Next, let's check these guys out compared with some other action figures. Starting off with some other Fortnite figures. Here they are next to the most recently released McFarlane Fortnite figures. We've got the Prisoner, Red Strike, Fireworks Team Leader, Warpaint, and Peely. And here they are next to the previous three releases. We've got Inferno, Havoc, Fireworks Team Leader, Warpaint, and Dire. And then here they are next to one of each of the different Fortnite McFarlane figures they've made so far. Starting to amass quite an army here. And then here they are next to all the different McFarlane Fortnite figures in my collection. You may wonder why some of the duplicates. Well, I got four of both versions of the Skull Trooper to use as Scarecrow Thugs in my Batman world. And then I got all four different heads for the wild cards to use my Royal Flesh Gang in my DC Batman world. And here they are next to the entire Jazzwares collection. And then here is my entire 6 and 7 inch McFarlane and Jazzwares Fortnite collection. Once again, the multiples are Wildcard to use as my Royal Flesh Gang in my DC Batman world, Rabbit Raiders to use as Mad Hatter Thugs in my Batman world. And then a bunch of Skull Troopers to use as Scarecrow Henchmen in my Batman world. And then here they are in a huge battle royale with all of my Fortnite figures. Trying to see who's going to get this win. Who can have the highest kill count. As you can see, here are the figures driving, shooting explosives at each other, healing, gliding, getting loot. All of them gunning each other down. Trying to see who can have the highest kill count, and more importantly, who can get the win. 
Next, let's check them out compared with some various companies, different action figure lines to see how they fit in both scale and style wise. Here they are next to some DST or Diamond Select Toys action figures. And here they are next to some of their McFarlane Toys brothers. These are some McFarlane Toys, different action figure lines made by the same company. And here they are next to some NECA action figures. Here they are next to some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. And then here they are next to some Mattel wrestling figures. And then next to some Mezco 112th cloth soft goods action figures. And now next to some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse action figures. Here they are next to some Mafex figures. And here they are next to some Hasbro Marvel Legends figures. And then here they are next to some SH Figure Arts action figures. So overall this is a pretty nice action figure set. I'm pleased with both the figures even though a lot of reuse is involved. I just like the colors on Fireworks Team Leader. They really pop, look pretty good. I've been waiting a long time for the shopping cart. They teased it probably a good year ago. And I must admit, I'm a little bit underwhelmed. If I were to rate this set, I'd probably give it a 6.5 out of 10. I'd probably rate the cart a 6.5, Warpaint a 6.5, and Cuddle or Fireworks Team Leader probably a 7 out of 10, at least as far as my personal enjoyment goes. I hope we do get more vehicles in the future. I guess it depends on how these box sets sell. McFarland has done a really good job of keeping the vehicles affordable. $40 for these two figures and the cart. $25 for the quad crasher. I mean, they're really doing a pretty good job keeping them a nice bang for your buck and a good value. So this is D Hunter. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it in the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, please press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.